Hi, I'm Heidi Copeland, a Family and Consumer Sciences Extension Agent with the University of Florida IFAS Extension. Oftentimes during the holidays, Extension Agents receive questions about baking. One of the questions we receive is, is it done yet? Um, baking is a very visual thing, and so sometimes though we need to rely on all our senses to, try to see if something's done. The oven, the, the time that is given in a recipe is generally a guide. Every oven works a little bit differently. Every pan absorbs heat, reflects heat a little bit differently. And then we have to look at, consider the temperature of our ingredients when we put the product in the oven. But a tried and true method to see if something like a cake or bread or a thicker product is finished is the touch test. Um, visually, I look at it, it looks like it has a nice crust. I touch it and the center springs back when it's lightly touched. Or I could do um, the tried and true method of sticking a, um, a toothpick in it. This is a little bit larger than a toothpick. I'm using it just for a visual. And you see that there is absolutely nothing on this toothpick. But 10 minutes ago, you can see when I stuck it in that it had quite a bit of residue left on the toothpick. And that means that it's not quite done. If there was just a little crumb on that, I would say, okay, because there is a residual heat that will continue to cook the middle. And that also is very helpful. Um, and I also um, earlier showed the use of what they call, what is called parchment paper. And see how easy, now parchment paper, I can just lift it right out of the, pro out of the pan and nothing, nothing sticks, very little cleanup. And now this I can just let sit on the counter and finish cooling. Most baked products, um, they benefit from t the time that you leave something in a pan, which means that if straight out of the oven, it still might not be quite set, it might be a little jiggly. We want to leave it alone for a minimum of 10 minutes. Some recipes even call for a longer time before we take it out of the pan um, and put it directly on a cooling rack. That helps stabilize the ingredients, it helps them meld, and it also um, just helps the, the, the product come out of the pan easier. So again, um, baking, the, the recipe is a guide. The guide, the time has to do with the temperature of the ingredients, the way your oven cooks, the color of your pan, the thickness of your pan, the thickness of your batter, and then we can look at it, say, oh, it looks done. We can do those little tests like, oop, it springs back. Ooh, the dowel or toothpick comes out clean. Or if it stays a little bit dirty, we need to know that it needs a little bit more time. All right, thank you.